Now, Fleabub has posted a very popular comment asking for some more cold desserts, and that parsley guy has actually asked for an egg custard tart. Yeah, and Gareth Sands 28 wanted something mm. fruity. So for all three of you, or anybody else who wants something light and fresh to finish a meal, mm -hmm. we're going to do a fruit custard tart. A fruity tart. A fruity tart. Fantastic. That's My what we're favorite. exactly what we're after. So first, it behaves. Yep. First things first, we're going to do the pastry. So we need the flour. It's going to go into there, mm -hmm. and some butter. Now, all I'm going to do is break this butter up. All you need to do is rub the butter into the flour. Okay. That's what we call it, and it's your forming. So no, cold hands, preferably. Cold hands. So I'm just going to put these butter in here. Yeah. Just kind of rub it together, just with your fingertips, mm -hmm. until you have something that resembles breadcrumbs. It takes a little while, but it's quite therapeutic. Mm. And now I'm just going to put the zest of a lemon in there as well, while you mm. carry on, nice and citrusy fresh. The other way is just sort of rub it through your fingers that way as well, which sometimes can be a little bit quicker. Nice little chef tip. So it begins to resemble like breadcrumbs. So more of a flour. Like crumble. Sort of. This is the first step to making crumble. Absolutely cool. the same. Any of the big lumps of butter still rump to the top. You just get rid of No! Oh! Why? Oh! Good. I thought Jamie wasn't here anymore. I thought we were going to get a nice peaceful recipe. <laughs> no. There we go. Yep. At this point, we're adding our sugar. And then if you can just crack in that egg. Check this out. I'm impressed. And then if you kind of mix these together, keep your fingers together, keep binding it until you end up with one solid lump of pastry dough. Ooh. And now if you can just wrap that in cling film, yep. at this stage it needs to go into the fridge to rest. So why is this going in cling film? Cling film just makes it easy. I mean, you could just put it on a plate in the fridge, but this way it's not going to absorb any of the other flavours or smells in the fridge. And that into our fridge. And we had one that's set up already, just here. Yeah. And this is one we're going to be using to roll. A little dusting of flour. No, 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 Be very careful with pastry. What? You don't want to stretch that flour too much. So on the table, and then just roll it out. Gentle movements, and as soon as you think it's going to start sticking, just turn it. It's so not pushing down too hard. It's probably best not to be wearing black in this situation. Although it's not normally so bad when you're not no. here. It doesn't look like a tart yet. Nope. Not the tarts I know. Our tart case comes into play, okay? Make sure you've got plenty of space around it. And then very carefully just roll it round the rolling mm -hmm. pin. Mm -hmm. Move it quite just into place. And just unroll it. And that saves you having to break it at all. Very delicate piece of work. But if you're very careful. Ah. Now at this point, don't push in. Instead, lift up and just let it kind of flop in. So you're just gently easing it down into the corners. Mm -hmm. All the way around. Baz, if I give yeah. you a knife, can you just gently cut round? Don't go too close. Yep. Now, what we've got here is some tin foil. You can use greaseproof paper as well. Mm -hmm. Whatever the easiest, whatever you've got to hand. And just okay. push it down into the corners. Well, what are we doing here? Now, this is called baking it blind. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> yep, try me. Wow, That's you, are, you are literally blind. You have no idea. Okay. So what we do is weigh that down. No, seriously. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so yep. any sort of baking beans, or chickpeas or rice, and that's just going to stop it from rising up, okay? So the weight, something that's not going to have a problem in the oven. And when we bake this now, it means it won't rise and puff up. What it does need is 20 minutes, maybe half an hour in the fridge, just to rest and relax so the pastry doesn't shrink back. And then we're going to cook it at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. At this point, you can take all these beans back out, put it back into the oven for the last five minutes, and then that's your pastry case ready. <laughs> Fantastic. So this is what we're left with when it cools down, and we just cut around the top with a sharp knife yeah. so we've got a nice level surface. At this point, we can just take them out, put them on one side. We now need to make the filling. The filling is so simple, it's just cream. So if you can whisk that up. I hate whisking. Then we're going to mix it with some um, custard. So we've got some shop bought custard, about half and half shop cream bought. and custard. Yeah, for this I think shop bought works absolutely fine. If you do want to know how to make homemade custard, then click up here and we've got an Ask the Chef because homemade custard is awesome. It does have a place, but in this recipe we're going to cheat. Okay? And meanwhile, I'm going to prep some fruits. We've got a whole selection of different fruits here. The colour is important. Should we swap? You want to do some fruit? You're product? definitely a whisker. I'm a okay. fruity person. You're fruity. Whisker, it's always easier waist tight so you're not leaning up as well. And that's better that way. And then you get nice strawberry shapes. Lovely, this is our cream, so you want that kind of consistency, so it's nice and stiff, and into that we can then fold about equal quantity of custard. And depending on how your custard is flavoured, you can always add in some extra vanilla essence. So that's going to go into our tart, just enough to form a sort of coating. Beautiful, mm. some nice layer. That's what's going to be the glue for our fruit. Best way with plums, yep. so just cut round, and they should just twist if they're nice and right, off like that, yep. okay, and wherever that Stone is, if it's still in there, we can just 
pluck that out. So just half the grapes, I think yep. it's a good shout. Just want to expose the inside so some of the juices from the fruit will leach into that cream as well. So if I show you a kiwi as well, just cut around the top and around there. What I tend to find is easy to just cut all the way down. Oh. A vibrant green, tangy, perfect for what we want. Always cut down into a board, and then you've got safety first, keeping the fingers back. And then it's just a matter of layering it up. Now at this point you can mix it all together and just throw it on, or you can separate it out into segments. There we go, I'm going to put some of our plum on this quarter. Some blueberries. I'm not sure this is the most finesse fruit tart you've ever Probably. seen. It's like a fruity pizza. It certainly does. So for Flea Bub, That Guy Parsley, and Garen Sand 28, it's a fresh fruit custard tart, sorted. How much food did you just get in? It's only five a day. I don't know how many you've eaten in the last 20 minutes. Last day, hideous <laughs> smells. <laughs>